So often we hear of Jesus uh, going off up the mountain to pray or going somewhere to pray, to take some time away from his ministry, to build up his relationship with his Father. We too are called to do just that, to uh, concentrate on our relationship with Christ so that we can better live out his love in all of our other relationships. This is a uh, understanding called conversion and metanoia, of turning towards Christ, turning away from sin. As we make our uh, Lenten journey this year, we take that extra time out to open our minds and our hearts. And Men's Cornerstone is an opportunity for you to do just that. To not only hear the stories of others and their journeys of faith and their moments of conversion and grace, but to open your mind and heart to a moment of grace and encounter with Christ that can bring conversion, that can bring a greater depth to your understanding of God's love in your life. So I would encourage you to take some time out this year to join Men's Cornerstone, to participate in the uh, 26 hours that will help you to encounter Christ and to enjoy a more profound understanding of God's love in your life so that you may better share it with others. Mike, 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 Mike! <laughs> what day is it? Hey, Rick, it's a, it's a day to give yourself the, the gift of Men's Cornerstone. What's Cornerstone? So Men's Cornerstone is a 26-hour retreat that's run concurrently with um, the folks at IHM and St. Bart's. And it takes place over at St. Bart's, which is just across town. What do you do in Men's Cornerstone? So um, what happens is that the attendees, which we'll call candidates, uh, they attend and the team members like you, myself, and, and several other men, uh, we get up and we give our stories, which is really kind of a testimonial uh, about how God has worked in, you know, in our life, and it gives the candidates something to think about, um, mull over a little bit, and then after each of the, the, the discussions or their stories, we go back to a small group setting, and we discuss it even further and share kind of what our thoughts are. That sounds good that people are reflecting on the stories. Now these candidates, do they have to share their stories? Typically they don't. Um, it's usually just the team members like, like you, me, and, and the other, other guys. Um, but if they want to, they can. Uh, but usually it's just, it's just the team members. I heard you say 26 hours. That seems like a long time. And I, I usually think about, ooh, dig. I mean, that's like a long time to stay on. Yeah, you know, um, the 26 hours goes really fast. Uh, I've attended several cornerstone retreats. Uh, but the food is outstanding. Um, there's a fellow named Sal Perella who is a member at St. Bart's, and he and his team have been doing the food service uh, for Men's Cornerstone for many years. So I can guarantee you'll love the food, and you won't you won't go hungry. Sounds like a good plan to get spiritually and physically nourished. Yeah. So doesn't sound like a bad deal at all. Uh, so how does one sign up for this? Yeah. So there's a couple ways you can do that. One is there's going to be a link that's attached to the video that we're recording. Um, then there's also a link on the IHM webpage, and then uh, last there's a, a link on the uh, IHM Facebook page. That's great. Can we tell them something else that would get these candidates excited about? I think we can, but uh, I think we have some testimonials that will do a really good job with that, so maybe we want to go uh, to the testimonials that we have. Awesome, let's go to the videotape, and I'm excited about it. I want to see you at the Cornerstone. Yeah, me too. Hi, I'm Colin Kyo, and I've been a parishioner of the Immaculate Heart of Mary for over 30 years. My name is Ryan Radice. I've been a parishioner here at IHM pretty much my whole life. Hello, I'm David Dykin. I've been a parishioner here at IHM for about eight years now. Good morning. I'm Lou Zappo. I've been a parishioner here at uh, Macleod Heart of Mary for about five years. Hi, my name is Mike Talty. I've been a parishioner here at Immaculate Heart of Mary Church for 20 plus years. When I first heard about Cornerstone, it was a time when I realized my life was so busy, I had so many other priorities. It was time for me to take a step out off the merry-go-round and just spend some time focusing on who I am and my own spiritual life. And I realized with everything going on, I just hadn't given it much time. So when I saw the opportunity for Cornerstone, it gave me the, the opportunity to take a step back 
and just think more about my spiritual life. But it was Carson was so much more. I got to meet so many great people, many of whom are, are friends uh, today. But more importantly, it got me to reset myself and really start to think about my relationship with Christ. What a wonderful gift. The advice that my father's always given me, whether going to Mass, going to confession, no time like the present. As a man, you have to take your faith seriously. You have to take your relationship with Christ seriously. And really, Cornerstone is a great opportunity for that. I felt that it's helped me to deepen my relationship with Christ. It's also put me among many good men, and I've been able to benefit from their example. So I would tell you, if you're considering Cornerstone at all, very simply, no time like the present. Hello, I've done Cornerstone approximately five times. You could say that I drank the Kool-Aid, but I keep going back because what I learn about myself from listening to other people and their stories and how faith has affected their lives helps me to grow as an individual. Um, with Cornerstone, you start out the weekend as acquaintances, during the, the retreat, you become friends, and by the end of the, of the retreat, you become brothers. And by the way, the food is legendary too. Cornerstone. I attended Cornerstone a couple years ago, and I listened to the men talk and heard their stories and their journeys. And then I was asked to participate as a participant in Cornerstone to tell my story. And I had to go back and think about what the men told at their, during their journeys, to think about my journey with Christ and how Christ has been part of my life ever since I met my late wife. So what I took away from Cornerstone when I attended was meeting the men and understanding how God had worked in their lives to transform their ordinary lives into extraordinary results, not only in the past, but also in the current day and age, and seeing how they were using God's presence as they went forward in their lives. So you've heard what Father Mike had to say about Men's Cornerstone, as well as the other people who gave their test short testimonials. Give some serious thought about attending the next Men's Cornerstone that's going to be taking place March 8th and 9th over at St. Barch Parish. The link for sign-up will also be included 